Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at how to encrypt a virtual machine uh, using the Azure Parcel. We have already done this for Azure CLI. If you search my video series, uh, you will find it. Uh, it's pretty similar to what we did in the Azure CLI. We're going to create a resource group and in this resource group we're going to create a virtual machine. So AZ new resource group is going to do that new is a VM is the command that you need uh, we need the key wall and the key wall has to have the enable for disk encryption available to us that we can use this for disk encryption and once that's done uh, we get the key wall and we are gonna say save is a VM disk encryption and we're gonna run this command and this command should give us everything that we need so it's a uh, uh, pretty a pretty s standard I mean it's not a too difficult process uh, I also try to do this through the Azure portal but I'm unable to do it at this time the disk encryption the only thing that's working so far is the Azure CLI and in this video we're gonna look at this one so let's go and start the lab so let's gonna copy this uh, I have a portal shell.azure.com if you just go there it's gonna uh, open up the shell for you in a big browser window a lot of time you may be doing it like clicking here and working on this window you can uh, if you need a more real state you can just go in here and get the whole window of a browser for your command so I got this so let's paste the command so my resource group uh, what I'll do I'll say my resource group one because I used the resource group in the previous lab it's getting deleted but may still have have it maybe not completely done yet so anyway so I have now a resource group my resource group one okay so uh, so that created the resource group so where am I this is not on this for so here so now we need to get the credential okay so it's a uh, I think it just do a copy and uh, I'm gonna paste so the first one uh, get credential what credential do you want to provide parcel credential request enter your credential let me see what it's trying to do so it's gonna create a virtual machine so let's give the virtual machine a, a username and a password and once that's done now we can get this credential and we pass it to the new easy VM command here is the credential you are passing so it's, it's going to use the username and password it's going to create this virtual machine I just want to change the resource group to resource group 1 and it's going to use this image and that's the size it's going to use it that's look, all looks good so I'm going to hit enter and it should be creating the virtual machine it should be deploying that so you can look at that also from the portal so I can go in here uh, look for the resource group what kind of resource group I have uh, my resource group one is the resource group that I just created using the Azure CLI you see there's nothing going on and this one is actually saying no deployment but we know that's not correct so let's refresh this and this is still very weird it should it should say it's under deployment or deploy it deploying something like that because you see that it's uh, deployment is in progress so uh, maybe a Microsoft bug okay so more deployment is going on it still says D I have never seen this by the way always when we do something I come back and look at the com uh, what what the message that I have for the deployment it should usually uh, you know indicate the right statement if it's under deployment it will say it's under deployment or deployment done something like that so let's go back to our cloud cell uh, it looks like deployment is maybe completely done and maybe it happens so fast uh, so it's saying no deployment so you can click on the deployments over here okay so this is very weird this time so it, this is deployment is also saying there is no deployment under this resource group when we know this resource group 
contains so many different resources okay so that has to be some kind of bug within the Microsoft portal that I am seeing for the first time anyway for the lab I got my machine and uh, if I go to the machine uh, and go to the disk uh, what I see is uh, we have a disk and uh, SSC with PMK uh, is available but there is no Azure disk encryption uh, available to us. SSC is by default enabled for every disk but on the top of it we also want the Azure disk encryption it looks like at this time I do not have that enabled so how to do that so let's go back uh, over here so we're done with this uh, key vault I already have a key vault let's see what it's doing yeah so what we'll do it's it's creating a key vault. well let's just create the key vault okay just a phrase one uh, for our for our lab so what I'll do uh, in here I'm gonna deploy that under the resource group this I'm gonna call this my KB basu one okay then I'm gonna deploy this key vault and the key vault deployment usually doesn't take very long at all uh, it should be able to deploy that uh, key vault in like minutes and uh, we can come over here uh, in the portal and look for the key vaults and see what we have uh, looks like right now I don't even have any key vaults at all you can also create the key vault from here clicking on the button uh, but we are doing it using the uh, parcel now so that's key vault is now created okay and it's deployed in the US because we said so so uh, this is good all of that is now uh, in place and remember that in this key vault we have enabled the disk encryption so if you forgot to do that um, let, me, let me show you where you can go and enable that so you can come over here and uh, uh, some place you are able to properties let me see is it properties no it's not in properties so let's let's look at uh, access policies there we go so access policies you you see the disk encryption for volume encryption is now enabled because that's how we ran the command if it's not enabled then you cannot use this particular key vault for disk encryption at all okay so uh, just remember but if you forgot to do that at the time of your command come back and just enable it from here all right with that let's go back and see what else do we need to do now encrypt the virtual machine uh, we need to do this so let's come back get that command uh, go to our shell uh, let's, oh, 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 oh. so the first command actually not right so this uh, my kv abasu1 should be the command and resource group is my resource group one okay that should be the command and uh, the next one because we have modified our stuff just a little so let's copy this see if that this works for us okay so go back uh, paste uh oh yeah so we need to make a little bit more modification over here as well so this should be resource group one okay and what we are doing really in here and in the last one we just got to the key vault and uh, uh, we are storing all of the key vault information in this variable and in the next one we are running the command set az vm disk encryption extension and that is going to uh, do the disk encryption and we are providing that uh, key vault uh, in this in this particular command we are saying key vault vault uri and vault resource id okay so now we understand this command a little bit let's hit enter it says uh, we cannot cannot bind argument disk encryption vault keyword because it is null why it is null so let's go back a couple more comments here uh, I need to figure out what is the, the vault name that we use I use my kv basu1 okay so here we ran a wrong command so it's not a basu but basu1 so now if I run this 
uh, so we should not get that error message anymore so let's yeah, see now it's working so now it's working enable disk encryption on on vm it's saying yeah yeah this this uh, command let prepares the vm and enable encryption which may reboot the machine by the way and it may take 10 to 15 minutes to finish usually it takes like two minutes please but based on your data or size of the disk it could take longer please save your work on the vm before confirming do you want to continue and uh, default is yes so you can just hit enter so that means you are accepting the default yes go ahead and run the encryption so let's pause for a second and it will be done in few minutes and we'll uh, take a look at our status over here uh, right now uh, if we go to our virtual machine uh, my vm and uh, before the disk encryption was available we noticed that we only had ssc with pmk when the command is run it should say ssc with pmk and azure disk encryption so we would verify that and then we can end the lab at the time so just uh, stay with me for a second and i'll be back all right everyone i'm back and if you see now once this command is run it's telling us that is is it successful it says yes okay okay status code okay and reason phrase is okay so everything should be good for us and again as per this lab you are also saying that this is what is expected now you can also verify the encryption by processing by running get azvm disk encryption status so let's copy this command and remember we still have to modify this just to make sure we are using the right uh, 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 let's go back copy come back this my paste is not working now okay, this the whole thing is not working so let's uh, refresh it one more time leave page reconnect it's all good okay and this happens time to times uh, so if it does just reconnect it not a big deal and uh, try to paste it now the paste is working again we just need to modify uh, the name of my resource group and hit enter and it says a parameter cannot be found oh <laughs> so I made a mistake here that's not a parameter name it should be resource group name you need to add the one now it says os volume encrypted is now encrypted so that's what we want to check uh, we do not have any data disk so there is no data disk found and uh, as for the lab is concerned you have successfully encrypted that uh, that operating system disk using this particular lab so since i don't need anything uh, I'm gonna uh, run this command so this is gonna delete my resource group and everything else and that way I'm not uh, wasting money for the resource that I only used for the lab and I'm gonna pass remove easy resource group name is that particular group okay and hit enter are you sure I say yes go ahead go for it okay so deletion is going on uh, before we end the lab just click on the azure disk encryption overview so if you do not have the disk encryption overview enabled if you are using the azure security center it will report that hey these machines although you have ssc you do not have the disk encryption available for this machine but you should be using and uh, i would highly recommend that you, sh you, you should use this and also if your requirement in your environment if it requires a disk encryption to make sure that you are using a supported vm note that uh, this encryption is not available on basic a series vms or virtual machines where you have less than two gigs of memory okay and also this is not available on generation 2 vms the lv lsv2 series vms and for more exceptions as your disk encryption on supported scenarios so you spend some more time and also know the supporting for if you're using Windows, you gotta use Windows 8 or later. And for Windows servers, Windows Server 2008 R2 and later to be able to successfully have the Azure Disk Encryption available in your environment. Alright, thank you very much for watching the video. If you like it, like, uh, subscribe, 
give me a thumbs up share with friends and hope you have learned something if you're preparing for an exam good luck with the test thank you